Good evening, everybody. Um, it's just Dak Afromo with Smiling Faces podcast here. Um, I'm just giving you a very, very quick review um, of the Leicester game. Uh, I'm just getting back. Um, obviously, of course, I'm disappointed that we haven't managed to to get through to the next round. But uh, starting with the lineup, obviously, we knew there'd be um, a, a lot of changes because of the injuries and the doubts that we had going into the game. Um, I'm not going to go through every single player, of course, but just to highlight a few, I thought that were were positives. Um, I thought Fernandez's performance from coming in was absolutely fantastic, honestly. Um, for me, I'd actually have him again ahead of Lascelles, to be honest with you. I thought he was a brilliant all game. Um, I thought Darlow, other than his distribution, was brilliant as well. Um, so then with the, the two, trying to wrap it up quickly here, I thought then with the, the two most positive performances of people coming in. Um, it's, it's disappointing to think we've gone out, because I honestly think, especially, especially in the first half, um, I thought the first half, say the first 15, 20 minutes, I thought we were really good. I thought in midfield, I thought we controlled it. We were playing some nice one-touch stuff, you know, moving the ball around. Um, I really thought we looked a threat. I thought Leicester offered nothing, like nothing at all. And then there was a, a spell in the spell where they scored, maybe a few minutes where we really let ourselves down. We just, I don't know, we weren't, we weren't what, the intensity had just dropped a tiny, tiny bit. Um, I think Darlow kicked it straight out of play, a stupid goal kick. We're then under pressure a little bit. We'll give a cheap, cheap um, a foul away, and then look what goes and happens. It's just the worst goal ever to concede. Um, so frustrating. Um, but to be fair, to the lads, I mean, they didn't let their heads drop. Um, you know, I think there's a lot being said, and in, in, and I'd heard a bit on the radio saying, oh, there was a little bit of criticism towards Bruce saying that he said he was going to take the cup seriously and all this, and we're getting we went out in the first round or our first round. I think they're really, really uncalled for. Like to be honest. Uh, I think we did really well considering the strength of side that that Leicester put out tonight. That was the almost their starting Premier League team, in my opinion. Um, we had a number of changes. Some players that haven't even played. Um, I thought we matched them all over the pitch. Uh, I thought we were, we were very, very good. We were very definitely worth the value of a one-one. Um, obviously, going into the second half, you know, I thought we st- again we, we played well. We totally deserve a goal. Fabulous ball from Shea to William uh, Will Anderson. Obviously, he chucked it on his chest and carried it into the box. Could have been a penalty from, from where I was. It didn't matter, he scored anyway. Um, and then other than that, really, thinking of it now, I think Perez had a good chance. Perez was dreadful, by the way, I have to add that. Awful. Um, Perez had a decent chance and that was about it. Um, went to penalties and obviously it was, it was, it's awful, isn't it? It's an awful way to lose a game of football, I think, penalties. But it is what it is. I thought, uh, you know, from, from where I'm sitting, I was at the other end of the ground, I thought, both the penalties that we missed were terrible, to be honest with you. I thought Shelby was hit with a lot of power, but it was a lovely height for the goalkeeper. Um, and I, it was such a shame because obviously Dolo saved one and then Hayden goes and then obviously misses his. So it was a real disappointment. But I, I'm going to be honest, I think I think there was there was a lot of positives to take from the game. We've matched a, re, a good Premier League side that was pretty much fully strength for the full game, in my opinion. Um, and... The only the only sort of tarnishing thing other than going out was Richie's injury. I think Richie's injury, um, with it looking like an impact injury, hopefully it's not going to be too bad and hopefully we'll be back the weekend. Um, but ultimately, I honestly think that there was a lot of positives, positives to take um, and roll on Saturday for a big game. Thanks very much. It's a very disappointing way to go out of the Cup on penalties, given the performance that Newcastle put in. Obviously, we're looking at the start of the game, had a lot of injuries for the team, and uh, we fielded a very, very weakened side. It was going to be a tough game, especially looking at the team that Leicester brought with them. However, started playing, Leicester really didn't look like they were that up for it, which is annoying, really, because we were giving it our all. Uh, They got an easy goal in the first half, and it came off one of our players, which is even worse, Uh, and we got that goal back which fired up the crowd, fired up the players. It looked like we were going to win it. Couldn't quite do it in the 90 minutes. And then, cruel as ever, penalties took it away from us. Um, I don't know if it's the fact that the penalties were weak or the fact that Schmeichel's quite a good keeper. Uh, It just wasn't a B. But then again, you've got to look at it. Yes, I know we're going to try and take the Cubs seriously, but how far were we really going to go? Um, Plenty of positives to take from it, though. I think the team looked good and it was right to save them for the game against Watford on Saturday where the three points will be much more valuable than any extended cup run for the time being, I think.